Well guys, the time has come to pour over some maps of our world. This is Terras Imperatoria, the lands of empire, the idea of empire. In this video, I will be breaking down our world by showcasing key locations and their place, not only on the map, but also in the lore of our server. So with that being said, I want to say a massive thanks to our cartographer, as you can see down here, the editor in chief, Sebastian. Now, thank you so much for coming out of the blue in our discord and offering to produce these maps. Now guys, this is just the front page of what will be a full document that you will be able to download one day. Not yet. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to talk about the first two pages, which are this one right here, the general map, and this one here, the political map. So we're going to go through switching between page two and three of this atlas, discussing the ideas of this world. Right then, let's get started with the country whose namesake you are currently watching this video on. That's right. Let's have a look at Whiteberg. So Whiteberg is located up here in the northwest of the Atlas. It is split across two land masses with a very large river that runs through the center covered in islands and it separates between the North and South Island. Now there is plenty more off in here in the undiscovered sections which we'll show in later editions of this map. So Whiteberg itself is a kingdom and an empire. So it's a kingdom at home, an empire away and its capital is Whiteberg City as you can see there. Now we'll get deeper into this country soon enough I've got a lot of law to explain to you but first of all I want to say it is a constitutional monarchy where it has a king currently George V as the head of state but the day-to-day -day runnings of it are handled by the parliament here in Whiteberg City. So as you can see on this map, Whiteberg is separated into several counties, including a couple of islands located around here. So everything in this nice yellowy color is the kingdom of Whiteberg. You can see these dotted lines here denote the countries that separate around the world. And this area here is the United Colonies, which is actually part of the Whitebergian empire. Hence the dotted line actually goes around the edges here. Now we'll get on to discuss the geopolitical situation with the United Colonies in a moment when we move on to there. But first of all, I want to talk about where the idea of Whiteberg came from, the island in which it formed on, and that is White Sea Island. So let's check out the history of this place. So located in the centre of the world, in between all of the European states down here and the, the American states up here as well, it borders Whiteberg, the country, the massive continent up here in the northwest. Now, White Sea Island has several locations dotted around it. You can see St Arnold's Castle down here in the south, moving up through to Cambrose, Highbury, Fort Highbury, all the way around to Portmore, which connects to a ferry between Wolhampton and Portmore and Cowshot Castle, defending the rights of those White Sea Islanders. Now, the modern history dates back to about the 11th century, where the Norman conquerors came over from Francia, which is just down here in the south. They moved across and came into St. Arnold's Island, landing there and setting up a monastery known as Mount St. Arnold's. This magnificent castle sits upon a craggy rock and doubled as a defensive fortification along as that monastery. After several centuries, they moved from White Sea Island further inland and started conquering areas on the main continent. Now this was not known as Whiteberg at the time, no, it was actually known as England. And over the years it got cut down further and further by the invading White Seers. And as they were invading up through here they came to Whiteberg, but it wasn't known as Whiteberg then, it was just known as Hampwick. There is a large castle that used to sit on a hill inside a walled city in Whiteberg and it was covered in white Portland stone. Now that is the main reason that the place was known as Whiteberg, White Castle, named by the White Sea Islanders who came across and saw that giant keep. Unfortunately the keep is no longer here, although a smaller one has been or will be built within the castle once we get around to actually building that on the server because it doesn't currently exist. So moving up from St Arnold's Castle where this all started, you have the bustling hub of Cambrose. The regional capital was founded by the Normans and today is home to a bustling fishing and trade industry. The White Sea Steam Packet Company operates out of here, sending information and articles, newspapers, letters all around the world. It is the hub of news. 
The island itself is full of hills, cliffs, quite a rugged landscape. Think of Cornwall in real life. It is a beautiful place to be. As I mentioned earlier, the town of Portmore serves as the main connection between the mainland and the island with ferries traveling out from Warhampton down through the Solent past Hearst Castle and into here several times an hour. Hence the direct line that comes down, train line that is, comes down from Whiteburg to Warhampton to allow this maneuver to happen nice and quickly, delivering across that information as we discussed. So White Sea Island does actually have its own regional government. It isn't like the counties of Whiteburg. It does have quite a bit of autonomy. Now it's currently ruled by Lancelot de Luc, uh, who is the Duke of White Sea. Uh, although White Sea Island does obviously have representation within the capital, within the parliament, like I said, it does currently have its own affairs that it likes to manage itself on the island. Although the army and the air force that are based here are both from Whiteburg and its foreign policy are determined by that of the larger empire. Due to its location, it has good relations with United Lowlands and Romanum, which are the two allies of Whiteburg itself anyway. So as we've discussed quite a bit about the history of Whiteburg already, let's look into some of the main key locations that you can find on this map here and also on our server. So we better start off with the main capital itself. Now this is located in the heart of the sort of main islands, uh, right on the mouth of the River Avon. Now within Whiteburg City stands the main parliament building that was founded in around about 1600, has been rebuilt over the centuries and I have a whole video on the history, the law of that, so you can click that little thing up in the top corner to see how we built the Palace of Hampwick. Now you may note on this map as well, we have Greenwich Park located here, and that is a royal park that has also stood here for time immemorial. So Whiteburg City is something you guys have seen a lot of, it's what the channel's named after. We probably don't need to talk too much more about it, more about the places that surround it. So if we move up into the north before we head on back down to the south, you see we have these railway lines that carry on up here. Now let me take you back to the political map. So Whiteburg sits within the Whiteburg City metropolitan area and that actually includes Holdenhurst Island which is an island of forts and during a time period when we were building forts up for an upcoming war uh, this place was going to be the most fortified land in the entire world and it still will be. Just hold on that one. It will it will come at some point. Yeah watch out for that. We will be building some more on there soon enough. So the counties that border uh, Whiteburg City are Avonshire and Plumsgate, which is where MS Builds constructs a lot of his towns. And the most important being Yarmouth over here on the northeastern coast, with what you can see here, a very nice long coastline straining off down there. It's almost connected to the lands of the United Colonies. Actually, I think there might even be a land bridge by accident built between uh, San Alexandro and this area, but that isn't meant to be there. Avonshire is probably the most underdeveloped location on our map so far. Renscape was just placed here when we moved across servers over a year ago now, and nothing much has been done to this county. So we're back to this map quickly just to show you the couple of other locations on here. We have Renscape, which connects up to Ellingham. Uh, we got Stoughton and Beckles here as well. And this area is probably the most least developed of the entirety of Whiteburg so far. So I hope to see more of in that area in Avonshire in the future. Back to this map for a second, we can see there are a couple of forts located here and here as well, which while defending this straight through here may play a pivotal role in an upcoming political debate between Whiteburg and United Colonies. Right, let's head on down to the south and see a few of these other counties around here. So to the south directly of Whiteburg City, we have Woolhamptonshire, one of the largest counties of the entirety of Whiteburg. Now the main capital of that is Woolhampton, which you guys have seen me build, discuss, talk about so many times in the past. But let me take you to the other map to show you those other locations. So we have places of Dunstan and Brookley, Eiford, what will be Westbourne over here, Sutton, my place that we've based on Plymouth, a large naval port over there to the southeast, and Hamworthy across here as well, based on the English town of Poole, uh, which is in Dorset. Now you can see other names as well on here, such as Pywell, and members of the channel who understand the law of the servant know that the CDP, the Church de Pineapple, or the Church de Pywell, started here 
on a small little church on a spit, the location of which is actually there, but it makes more artistic sense to place it somewhere further away from there or else you can't actually see the little bit of headland. Down here as well is Hearst Castle, which you guys have seen me build. Again, I'm gonna put a little thing up in the corner for you guys to have a look at that uh, from a video from over a year ago now. So we're gonna move in to the top section of Whiteburg now. Let's have a look at these other counties up here. So we have Kurnow, which currently is where Onion Ring Sasquatch will be building his main towns. I, the name escapes me for that. I'm not sure we've actually formalized what the main town is gonna be called in here just yet. Then we have Bathamptonshire, which is based on possibly Somerset with Bathampton based on Bath being the main town of that one. Then we have bordering that and between Avonshire and Whiteburg City, we have the county of Linfordshire, which sits here overlooking the river Avon along with the beautiful city of Linford upon Avon, which you guys know that Goblin is building. Within Linfordshire, which we will come to in a second, is Colebrook, and we'll discuss that on the other map. And the final county of Whiteburg is the county of Wessex, the original county and the, also the original capital over here in Kingsworthy, based on Winchester. Colebrook, as I mentioned, is located just north of Linford upon Avon in the county of Linfordshire. And because this map was already in production before we moved the world to slightly bigger, Kingsworthy is actually located off the map here but in a later edition it'll be included in the map so never fear on that one. Well guys that has been Whiteburg and there's a lot to discuss in it. Now we have the entirety of the rest of the world to go through now so what I'm thinking guys is this video might be better off placed into different parts so that I don't cram too much into let's say a 20 minute video so in the next part we'll discuss united lowlands frankia and the gansis reich issue uh, a little heads up gansberg is gone and there was a political dispute about it so join me next time when we discuss all of that and in the final part we'll discuss kalmar and united colonies as a little close and a prelude into how the world may shape in the future but until then guys remember get inspired get building and i hope you've enjoyed this lore heavy video until next time, see you then.